In this episode, we will export the data for embedding. Please refer to the previous tutorial videos to learn about the necessary preparation steps. First, we will export an MOC3 file from the source model file. The MOC3 file is the actual data of the Live2D model for use in application. Click on File, then select Export for Runtime, and export as MOC3 file. The export dialog appears. You can set the properties of the export data. The Export Version drop-down menu allows you to select the target SDK version. Select the version of the SDK that matches the specifications of the environment in which it will be embedded. Checking the Export Hidden Part, Export Guide Image, and Export Hidden Art Mesh checkboxes will export the selected parts and objects. If you check the Export Physics Settings File checkbox, the physics settings you have in the editor will be exported as a Physics 3 JSON file. When Export User Data File is checked, it will export the User Data 3 JSON file. It is for SDK functions such as trigger action. Before exporting, check with your developer if the application requires a user data file. When the Export Display Information File checkbox is checked, a CDI3 JSON file containing information of parameters and part names will be exported. It is recommended to export the file when you use the model for Cubism Viewer or After Effects plugin. Under Export Target, you can specify the size of the texture atlas. In general, 1 to 1 is fine, which would be full size. But if you want to reduce the size of the data, choose a reduced size, such as 1 to 2, which would be half size. When ready, click OK and choose a directory, set a name, and save the file. It should create at least three pieces of data in the directory, a folder with the texture, an MOC3 file, and a Model3 JSON file. If you check some of the other checkboxes in the export settings, the Physics3 JSON file, User Data3 JSON file, or CDI3 JSON file would also be created along. Make sure you have all the necessary data. This completes the model export. Next, we will export the motion file from the animation file. Open the animation file, go to the file, then export file for runtime, and select export motion files. The motion data settings dialog should appear. This is where you configure the export settings. Select output all scenes to export all scenes you've created, or Select Output Selected Scenes to export only the current one. If you check Output Work Area checkbox, the motion within the work area, which is the orange area on the timeline, will be exported. If unchecked, the entire animation scene will be exported. Down below, you can choose the elements to be exported, such as the parameter, switch part view, or opacity. In your application, Depending on the environment, you may need to adjust some of these element settings. Usually it is fine to use the default settings. To include lip sync and blink movements in the motion, check the Bake Lip Sync and Eye Blink to Motion checkbox. If you want to export Apply Frame Stepping or Event, check the corresponding options. When ready, click OK, specify the destination, and save the motion file. If you have many motion and facial expression files, prepare a dedicated folder to keep the export files tidy. You have now exported the data for both the model and the motions. In the next episode, we will test the exported data in Cubism Viewer. Currently, there are two Cubism Viewers, Cubism Viewer for Original Workflow and Cubism Viewer for Unity. The original workflow version allows you to check and configure the behavior of the exported files. This is suitable for original workflow SDK. You may configure behaviors such as switching poses and facial expressions. The Unity version is for verifying the behavior of the SDK specifically for Unity. Since the viewer itself is built with Unity, 
You can verify the rendering and performance of the model in an environment that is similar to the actual application. We have prepared tutorials for both versions of Viewer. You may choose the viewer you need for the type of SDK you are using.